Today on the Sudoku Primer channel we're going to go over unidentified twins. I'll explain what they are in just a minute. This is puzzle number 68 from Sudoku to Go volume 134. You can find the techniques and patterns along with the different types of twins I'll talk about in this video on sudokuprimer.com so if you want to learn more about them you can go there. Also if I uh, if I do something that you don't understand while solving this puzzle please leave a comment and I'll uh, answer any questions you have. Now there are three types of twins that we see in Sudoku puzzles. We have regular twins, identical twins, and unidentified twins. And that third type is what we're going to learn about today. We'll look at each of these twin types and compare and contrast them as we go along. Okay, Here's an example of a set of regular twins. In box 9 we have a T pattern. And in this column we have a 2, 3, and a 5 already. We've got a 5 here, so we know these are 2, 3 twins. Those are regular twins. Now in box 1 we have a T pattern also. And in this column here we have a 1, 6, and 8. We've already got a 6 and an 8 in this box, so we know one of these is a 1. We don't know the other value of the other twin because there's not enough information. So when you see that situation, take a second look because you might be able to identify this the other twin and if you can, that'll help you. In this case, we've got a 1 here, so one of these is a 1. We have a 6 and an 8 in this box already. They're here already. We have a 4 and a 5, so one of these is a 4, one of these is a 5, and the other one is the twin to the 1. We don't have enough information here to, to get any further, but I want to point out that when you do find un unidentified twins, take a second look to see if you can uh, figure out um, what the other twin is. All right, I'm going to um, fill in a few numbers here. We've got a 1 here. We have ghost ones there. So one of these is a 1. There's a 1 there, so that we know that's a 1. All right, we have a 2 here and 2 here, so that's a 2 right there. We've got 3 here, 3 here, so that's a 3. Got 3 here and 3 here, so that's a 3. All right, five here, five and five, so that's a five right there. All right. Now we created another T pattern right here, and um, so let's see if we can find a set of twins for 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 these two cells right here. We've got. In this row, we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We've got a 1, 2, 3, and 5 here already. So we know one of these is a 4. But we don't know what the other number is because 1, 2, 3, and 5 are already in here. So this is a good example of unidentified twins. We know one of them is a 4. We don't know the value of the other one. Now what's interesting about this situation here which is different from this one is here we only have one cell that's missing a number we we already have a 1 2 3 and 5 in here we know 4 is one of these two numbers so we know that this number right here is the other twin to the 4 that'll go here now another thing we um, about uh, twins about identical twins is when we find a set of identical twins we know that this cell and one of these two cells is the same number as the number that goes in that cell. Okay, 
So whatever number goes here, it's the twin to the 4. So we've talked about identical twins in other videos. Um, and identical twins are going to help us here. So let's see what we're missing here. I'm going to write down the numbers that we're missing. We, we know one of these is a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're missing 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, so let's see if we can find out what the twin is to the 4 right here. We've got a 9 and a 9 there, so we know that's a 9. So the 9 is out. Okay, so that's going to be a 6 or a 7 or an 8. We've got an 8 here and an 8 here, so we know neither of these can be an 8. So we know the 8 goes here or here. So the 8 is out. We know this is a 6 or a 7. Now, if you remember when I talked about identical twins, whatever number this is is going to be the twin to the 4 up here. We know it's going to be a 6 or a 7, but we know that this can't be a 7 here because we have a 7 in this column already. So we know that is going to be a 6. And that is the twin to the 4. Okay, so that eliminates the 7. So we know that we have 4, 6 twins here, and we have 7, 8 twins there now. With that 6, we can solve the 4, 6 twins. And there you have a good example of unidentified twins. A place where you know one of the two twins, but you don't know the value of the other. Alright, let's, let's keep going here. Let's um, fill in some more numbers. we got a 4 here, 4 here, so that's a 4. We're missing 7 and 9 there. So we can solve them because of that 7. Alright, let's look at row 9 here. We've got a 1 here and a 1 here, so that's a, one of these is a 1. We've got a 2 here, and we have ghost 2's here because of the two 3 twins that we found here. So these are 1, 2 twins. What else are we missing in this row? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 4, 7, and 8 we're missing here. There's a 7 there, so neither of those can be a 7. So we know that's a 7 right there. These are 4 and 8. There's a 4 there. So I can fill in those two. Alright, with this 8, we've got an 8 there and an 8 there, so we know that's an 8. We've only got two numbers left here. 6 and 9. We have a 6 there, so we can solve them. Alright, let's look at this column right here. We're missing 1, 4, 6, 8. 1, 4, 6, 8. Well, there's a 1 and a 6 there, so we know these are 4 and 8. We also knew these are 2, 3 twins, so we knew these were 4, 7, and 8, and we filled in the 7 already. So we know these are 4 and 8, and we can fill those in because of that 8. Now we've got 1 and 6 left there, so there's, and there's a 6 there. So we can finish those. Alright, now we have a... Remember our 9, six, our nine I our 9 that went here with an unidentified twin. We now know it's a 6, so we can solve those. All right. That leaves 4 and 8 here, which we can solve because of that 4. Now we have a 7 and 8 there, and there's an 8 there, so we can finish those two numbers. Now we're missing 2, 3, 7 here. We have a 2 and 3 here. 
Now if we use the um, ambiguity rule or unique rectangles, we know that since these are 2 and 3, we know these can't be 2 and 3. Uh, one of these has to be a 7. Because the can't, 7 can't go there because of, these can't be 2 and 3. And uh, so the 7 has to go up here. We've got a 7 there already, so we know the 7 goes right there. And so now we have 2, 3 twins there, 2, 3 twins there. All right, these are 5 and 6, which we can solve. All right, now we've got we've got the one two twins there. There's two three, three four five six seven. So these are seven and nine, which we can solve because of that nine. All right, let's look at box five and these two columns here. Five. 5 and 9 go in this column. There's a 9 there already. So we can finish those. Now we're missing 1 and 4, which we can solve because of that one. All right. Let's see. We've got 1, 7, and 9 missing here. There's a 7 and a 9, so that's a 1. There's a 9 there, so 7, 9. And we got 1 and 2 here, 1, 2 twins. With that, we can solve them. We got 3, 4, and 5 here. I don't think we can solve those yet. What are we missing here in this column? 1, 1, 2, 3. Three, five, three and five. There's a five there. So we know these are three and four. All right, with that three, we can solve the two three twins there and two three twins there. Oh, three goes there, two goes there. Okay. All right, now we only have two numbers left, or four numbers, I mean. Let's see, two and five go there. Two and five. Four and, four and seven go there. And that's it. All right, well, you saw how we could uh, use identified, unidentified twins in this situation right here. And we were able to find the twin to the four and, be, and we're able to solve those two numbers right there. You can find unidentified twins quite often in puzzles. Once in a while, you can find their twin just by taking a second look. And when you do, they can be pretty helpful. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy your holidays. I'll see you on the next video.